hello everyone welcome again in Angman youtube channel so in this video we will have another episode of quick knowledge and in this topic we will talk about well interference okay so i just came across a really good presentation and the presentation is about type well analysis complexities and analytic techniques by professor john lee he is an expert you know in reservoir engineering and I'm interested particularly in a slide where he talks about boundary by well interference. Okay, so this is his picture, but I modified a little bit. Suppose we have a reservoir and we can see clearly this is the limit or the boundary, external boundary of the reservoir. But say within the reservoir itself, we don't have any structural boundary or stratigraphic boundary see you can't see there's any fault right there's no fault there and we can also say let's say there is no even the permeability barrier permeability contrast or something like that that will act as internal reservoir boundary say we have no such thing we have no structural boundary or we also don't have stratigraphic boundary all right so that's the case but actually that doesn't mean that the wells do not have any boundary at all right because what really happens is like this okay so you can see this is his picture we of course have true no flow boundary at the external point of the reservoir all right that's no brainer that's easy but you can see this is interesting this is no flow boundary, but caused by interference. Okay, so it's a no flow boundary, yes, but it's not structural, it's not stratigraphic. But instead, it is someone says that you can say or you can call it virtual boundary. This is virtual no flow boundary established because of well interference. Okay, so that's very, very interesting and important. So let's say these three wells are producers and they are producing at the same time with different flow rate. They will develop their own drainage area. So we have drainage area A, drainage area B, and drainage area C. So this well will only drain what happened inside A and so on and so forth. This well will drain everything here, right? And this well will drain everything here. But when the two drainage areas are in contact, the location or the point at which they contact, we will have no flow. Why we have no flow at that side? Because we have force balance, all right? So oil or whatever, located here will be drained by this well and it will experience a force towards that, that well. And that's also the same thing for whatever material we have here, let's say oil, of course. So oil at this side will be drained by well B and oil at that side, right before the, the virtual no, bro, no flow boundary will be drained by this well. Okay, so right exactly at the contact, we will have force balance. Yeah, you can say will be equilibrium of force, the draining force of the two wells. So if you have force equilibrium, if you have force balance, you cannot move. You will be steady. All right, that's why we can say or we can call it, it is no flow boundary. All right, and it's very, very interesting because when you know the drainage area of your well, that parameter is actually influencing your well parameter, okay? And you will also find this, you know, this issue when you want to interpret pressure transient analysis where you will deal with well boundary, all right? So again, boundary, it's not about only structural or stratigraphic. 
boundary, especially when we want to interpret the pressure transient analysis or ray transient analysis, we are also dealing with this kind of boundary, no-flow boundary generated by well interference or the virtual no-flow boundary. And in fact, virtual no-flow boundary because of well interference is one of the most common boundaries for wells. Not all wells have, you know, adjacent fault that will act as boundary, no. But yeah, most of the time, well, we'll have neighboring wells, we'll have adjacent wells. And most of the time, they are both producing at the same time. And of course, they will establish their own drainage area. And when drainage areas are in contact, you will develop no flow boundary. Okay, so again, this is very important. If you know the no flow boundary, you know the drainage area of your well, you can use that very important information to characterize your well performance, to interpret your PTA or RTA. You can also use that as a consideration for your forecasting, for your decline curve analysis, for your flowing material balance, and so on and so forth. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Angman videos. Thank you.